Hi guys, so today I'm going to kick off a new ephemera folder swap. I love the ephemera folder swaps. They go really smoothly for the most part. Um, just got to stick to not making them thicker than a quarter inch and then the other rules or guidelines that I have. They're pretty simple. Uh, like I said, it usually runs really smoothly. So um, the only danger is sometimes people make them too thick, but I think we've gotten past that. So uh, if you're interested, I'm starting off the video today to just talk about real quick like dates and you know the basic folder um it is actually friday morning and i just had a wild hair to do this so if i have any links in the description box there'll be affiliate links for some of the items i'll be using maybe the basic items because i don't really even know what i'm going to be using today i'm just going to show you how to make the folder and we're going to talk about the swap itself so as you saw probably in the title of the video <laughs> i've been kicking around different names like sophisticated but we already did sophisticated okay uh soft or subtle but that's kind of weird um so i'm going to call it a shabby chic sentiments and frames ephemera folder with altered paper clip swap um a lot of times when i email people back and forth about things if you sign up please uh, just say you know like shabby chic sentiments and frames swap or whatever um because a lot of times people just email me from an old email and then it just gets kind of haywire so please start a whole new email the email is in the description box if you're interested. You can sign up until April 5th. And now having said that, I'll probably fill up. Usually with this, I do like 50 or 60 because it's not that hard and it's just really fun. So um, the swap out and everything. Um, so there are some new rules. Uh, so please pay attention. And I say this every time right at the top. Please listen to the whole video. And this video is going to be kind of quick. So um, honestly, I just have notes jotted down. Usually I have it all typed out already in my computer. So <laughs> it's going to be quicker. I don't think it's going to take that much explanation. So hopefully if you have any questions about it, um, when you sign up, I respond with write, written guidelines for right now. I'm going to follow up with a second video, but for now, I just wanted you guys to get going on it because it's very easy. You know, pull out the dies that you have, the fun things you have with a shabby chic feel, right? So shabby chic, again, a lot of whitewash, light colors, soft, pretty. Um, you know, if you show up with something that's like dark purple or something, you know, that's not really shabby chic. So we were thinking like light blues, pinks, peaches, corals, you know, like all those sweet, like yellow, gray, whatever, but like very light colors. Okay. So I really want to impress that because I think sometimes people just throw in whatever, cause that's what they have. But the, if you do not have things that would work with the shabby chic colorway, please don't enter the swap, enter another one. Okay. Cause honestly, you guys know in the reveals, it'll stick out like a sore thumb, right? Like, oh, okay, well, this one's... And I would never say that uh, on camera. You guys already know. I'm always... I love seeing everything you guys make. I just, you know, I'll talk about what it is there and we you know, go to the next one. I'm not going to say, oh, this one's not shabby chic. You know, that's not my style. I would never do that. Um, but, you know... I, I already know because I get comments from people that are like, oh my god, I can't believe this happened. Or like, mine look like this when the other was like that, you know. And it's people <laughs> put it on themselves. I would never <laughs> call anybody out like that uh, for anything, for anything straight out on camera. So, um, you know, that breaks rules. I, I don't do that. So uh, hopefully you guys, I think you all know that. Um, so uh, let's see. So yeah, so the Shabby Chic Sentiments and Frames ephemera folder with altered paperclip swap. I used to make it so it has to be a hidden altered paperclip, but it can just be an altered paperclip. So as before, if you've seen my old videos, you're going to make four of them. Um, and each one, each folder, you're going to make four. They don't have to be exactly the same. Obviously, a lot of us don't have the same four 12 by 12 pieces of paper to make the folder out of. But uh, the contents should be the same. So that way it just makes it easier for the swap out. Either way, I'm only going to show one of them. So um, the contents should be the same in all of them, okay? Uh, whatever you put inside the folders. And it should be 15 items in the folders. And I know sometimes people do more. Um, if your folder gets too thick, take something out, okay? So this is the basic part of it. 15 items and the reason I'm calling it sentiments and frames is because I need you to do five sentiments and that could be sentiments that are layered up you know one over the shadow layer or, or just a uh, one layer whatever you know I was gonna see if I have some sentiments sitting next to me I don't but um, <laughs> whatever sentiments you can cut on your Cricut with dyes whatever it is um, that's what I'm thinking about uh, if you want to stamp them I guess but sometimes stamping doesn't look that great I mean it just depends on your style if you think that it came out great and you know you have outline dies for them or whatever you know go for it but don't just stamp on a piece of paper and then send like a square of paper that has a stamp you know what I'm saying it should be nice okay so five sentiments and then they're gonna be all the same in all your different four folders five frames again if you don't have frame dies or frame cricket or brother or whatever as you cut on um please do not sign up for it they need to be frames and frames i'll make that more clear but basically a frame die right i'm trying to see if i have any of those here um 
Okay, so like like this set, I would say no because this one does this and it's a matte layer, right? So this whole thing is gonna, still going to be there. I'm talking about frames where it actually cuts out the edges actually like, like this. So this frame, this piece, not this, the matte layer, unless, you know, I cut another aperture out of that. I'm talking about frames, just for something different, something fun. Um, I would also consider like this a frame, right? The, the gold part. Okay, guys. Um, so I hope that's clear. I'll try and type that up. But again, I'm going to follow up with a video about it like this. I would not consider a frame because this is like a doily die and the center is a mat. If this hole was cut out, then maybe, yeah, that'd be a frame, but a frame. Okay. So I hope that's clear. Um, all the same in the four folders. So five of them, five different ones, five of the same die. If you only have one frame die, but different colors or whatever, however you want to do that, that's fine. Um, so five sentiments, different sentiments. <laughs> okay. In the one folder. And then you repeat them in the other three folders, five frames in the one folder and you repeat those same five in the other folders. And I have tons of frame dies. I mean, I'm sure and even, that's what I'm saying. Even if you have like a doily die and you have like a circle and you can put the circle within the doily die and now it's a frame, right? Cause the way you can mix and match things like, I guess I can show you like these guys. Let's say I have this outer die. Okay, cool. Well, that's not a frame cause that's a mat, right? Cause this whole piece will be there. But if you paired it with this guy, now we have a frame. Okay, so a frame. <laughs> I just want to be very clear, and I know people are going to be like, okay, I think we got it. But there will be people who don't get it, and I just have to be super clear what a frame is. A frame has an aperture, a hole in the center, you know? And then five other things. So obviously five sentiments plus five frames, that's 10. You need to have 15 items in there. And what I mean by five other things is like flourishes, butterflies, uh, other, you know, um, stickers, rhinestones, whatever else people normally uh, include ephemera pieces because in this it's literally ephemera okay it's all paper where like in the case swap I require you to pretty much buy things that are chunky and whatever because it's a case right for this one it's generally all paper like I can show you I have one sitting here um, that I need to um, pack away still this is from the last time now this is a different size uh, this is the slimline one that we did I believe um, but you know she has like this cute little typewriter and things like that. So as you can see, it's not, well, I took things out, but like it's not over packed. And look how she even put the um, sentiments in this one to protect them, right? Because she has some that are just a uh, thin line and some are layered up or whatever else. So um, something like this, right? So a little ribbon. The ribbon does get bulky though. So put it in a way that doesn't get too bulky because when you're done with this and you're going to send it in, um, it should not be thicker than a quarter inch okay each one because we are going to put these into a small flat rate box and send them back to you okay so um basically those are like just over an inch wide so like your swap with your paper clip you know you don't want it to be much thicker than a quarter inch because the next person the next person the next person's all have to go in that same box and we don't want to smash anybody's uh, swap and you don't want to crush yours either so just be very mindful of that um, that is one thing I will be a stickler on I usually still swap people out even if they break the rules because like I don't have the heart just to send it back without being swapped but if it's too thick that is one thing that I will definitely send back without being swapped okay guys so keep that in mind um, it's very easy to stay very thin it's paper five you know um, I mean there's probably five in here and look how thin that is right and then again like here she looks like she has some dragonflies so this is a different one but this this is very shabby chic. All this is the Valentine swap. I would um, consider this one just because of the rose gold and those kind of colors that she used here. Really pretty. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, so five sentiments, five frames, and five just other things that make it look pretty. Again, you know, sometimes people consider like an outline die and the, ba the background die two things, or they consider it one thing. For the sentiments, I would consider it one thing, okay? So whatever completes that sentiment is one thing. Um, if it's an outline and the background or whatever. Um, you can definitely include things like this, like, you know, something that's already pre-made. But, you know, how many of those do you have to include that they're all the same in all four of your folders? I don't know. But um, I would think it's something you're going to die cut because, I mean, I, th I think we all have plenty of dies that cut uh, words, right? Um, so sentiments is what I mean by words, like, hello, thank you, you know, happy birthday, whatever it is you know, a word. But I will make a whole other video about that because like I said today, um, the kids are already waking up and it's like 6.30. I'm like, why are you guys waking up? It's because we're going to the zoo, so they're getting excited about that, I guess. Um, or at least Miranda 
is and Dorian is gonna come so that's really nice and Diego's gonna spend the day with his girlfriend but either way <laughs> everyone's waking up so um let's see uh, so the sign up is by April 5th if I tell you it's full when you sign up on the 4th or the 3rd and it's full it's full guys I just can't take any more people so I would let you know that uh, I mean it depends on how fast it fills up today um, and then you have to send it in by April 16th and that is a Saturday and as I impress upon you guys every single time during the day if your post office is closed on Saturday you have until Friday send it Friday do not send it Saturday after the post office closes or don't click and print on Saturday and think that it's okay to put it at the post office on Monday because you know or after they close because oh you reprinted it that does not matter it needs to start moving within the post office okay so it happens every time and I beg people do not send things on Monday and they still send things on Monday don't send it on Monday if you miss it just chalk it up to oh no I messed up I'm just going to keep it because please don't because then I always feel like the need to have to wait for it which isn't cool because like Honestly, you broke the rules on that one, so like, I, I'm just not going to do that. It and, it and I and I still do that, and I still wait, and I still feel bad if, you know, please don't put me in that position. I don't like it. I don't like it because we're holding up the whole swap to wait to see if this one person's, or if I go ahead and move ahead, then I feel bad, and it's just, don't do it. Don't do it. Saturday during the day, and if you don't have a post office that's open on Saturday, send it by Friday, the 15th. Uh, but it's April 16th is a Saturday. Please do not click and print and not send it off. I've seen that many times. Okay, send it <laughs> that day. Um, what else? Uh, and I'm talking about, you know, when you print it at home or whatever. And not everyone does that, but uh, some people do. Uh, it still needs to get to the, you know, physically to the post office. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make one folder right now just to get started so you guys have the weekend to play. But, you know, I mean, you know what I mean. Like, oh, no, I can't show that. I was going to show something that's not available yet uh, with tonic, and that's a boo-boo. Um, well, I'll grab some dies just to show you what I mean as far as sentiments. And then um, I'll show you how to make one of the folders. And I'll be right back. So just real quick, as far as uh, frames, like I just pulled out some things from my stash here. So this is clearly a frame. And actually I have one sitting here next to me. Where is it? Of course I would say that and then I can't find it. It's right here. Super cute, super sweet. And then, um, you know, the five other things that you include can be, you know, little flowers or other things that coordinate back. Um, a lot of times they're purchased items. Sometimes people put like a pack of rhinestones, a pack of pearls, like I said, ribbon, you know, uh, stickers that are shabby chic of course and this but that is a frame this outer one this one that goes on top here i used recently is a frame not the whole background one that's a mat okay this is a frame the it has to have like that hole kind of uh, i pulled this one out on purpose because as you can see this one this outer one is not a frame it's a mat layer because it has that piece but if you layer it up with this guy when you cut it now this is a frame right because this whole center piece will be cut out of it if you layer them together so there's different ways to make frames out of what you already have if it's not intended to be a frame die to begin with. Um, let me see here. And then sentiments. And now I'm just grabbing whatever, but uh, you know, there's layered mix and match sentiments. These are tiny ones. Okay, they could be small, they could be larger, whatever it is that you want to do. I would say mix and match of sizes just so people can use them on their cards or whatever. Um, but I just want to show you what sentiments are. Okay, so like hello, and then I would cut maybe the matching uh, background wherever this one maybe this is gold and maybe this is you know cream color or whatever and I glue them together um, however right <laughs> whatever it is that you want to do that goes with your folders that is still shabby chic okay so that's what I mean by sentiments you want to use your Cricut Cricut has all kinds of cool things to cut I think I might use it this time around um, you know and again five different ones five different sentiments five frames if you only have one frame die or one for die that'll work make sure they're different colors but other than that i'm probably going to make all five of my frames different because i have plenty of dies to do that um and then five other items and that is the basic of basis of it don't include three other items or only do three frames like it has to be five sentiments five frames five other items that coordinate that you think would be fun again usually they're ephemera paper-based things um, other than like you know cute little rhinestones and whatever else sometimes people include um, and then okay as far as the folder ooh, I cut that one but that one's too small now you know I have like that dusty blue now this is one called distressed floral from Hobby Lobby um, I would say 
I always like to keep my folders real basic so I can play off of them. So like I'll take like this one. Not layering weight paper, so not like type weight paper, not like, you know, cheesy, very low weight paper for the folder. The folder needs to be a nice weight. I would say this is maybe, what do you guys think? I don't know. It's cardstocky, but it's not like the thickest cardstock. But, you know, if you try it and it just wants to tear or do something silly, don't use it, right? You want to um, send in something really nice. So, nice and sturdy. I would, honestly would usually go higher than this, but this is so pretty. Um, I'll go with it. But generally, you know, I'm not going to say 300-pound paper. That's really thick. But, like, in the 200s, right? Like, 85-pound paper, should I say? Not GSM. I meant GSM. Uh, like, 85-pound paper or something like that and plus, right? Um, is what you want. 65 pound paper is really lightweight, but you know, um, just not layering weight is all I'm saying. Like that text paper, it's almost like literally like typing paper weight, right? That's layering paper. Not that, it's too thin. Um, okay, so on this one, I'm just going to make this real basic. Well, maybe I'll do some punching. I don't want you guys to feel like you have to do punching, especially if you don't have punches. But um, I usually do mine 11 by 10 or 10 and a half if I'm going to do some punching on it. So maybe I'll do that today. But I'm going to take this and 11 on the side that, you know, goes left to right, um, 11 inches. You can leave the 12 inches if you want, if you want to leave a one inch border on the sides, but I'm just, it'll make more sense when I get there. So 11 inches by 10 and a half in the other direction. I'm doing 10 and a half because I'm going to punch along this edge, okay? And I need a little extra because when you punch it does cut in. If you want to do that, you don't have to, like I said, obviously, you can make your folder real basic. And this is literally the same folder I've been making in my um, traveler's notebooks, like everything. So let me just make sure I have the right size here. Yeah, so on the 11 inch side, I'm going to score it on the, on the back side. So on the 11 inch side, we're going to score it half an inch on either side. So half an inch. We want to score it five and a half because that's half of the 11. So when we fold our folder and half inch on the other side, right? And then just make sure you're folding this part. You're going to score it at three inches to make the pocket. Now, if your paper has a direction, you want to pay attention to that. Like this paper doesn't have a direction really. So I'm just going to go for it. But I'm going to score this at, um, what did I say? I had ten and a half, right? So at three and a half, I'm going to score this. If you're not going to do punching and you make your paper 11 by 10, you would score it three inches. So that when you're done and you fold this, you have a folder that's five by seven. That's exactly five by seven. Sorry, it's... The camera's like, oh, everything's so white. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Now, um, just debating if I should go ahead and... Do, do, do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and punch this edge before I do any of this other stuff. So let me grab a punch. Uh, let's see what we have. I'm just grabbing this whole box that's behind me. I don't know if there's anything in here I want to use. <laughs> this Martha Stewart one's funny. It's like ooze. I don't know if you can see how it looks like oozing. It cuts really thin things that dangle down. It's kind of annoying actually. But um, oh, look at this one. Makes a little border. Oh, that'd be a cute thing to cut. A little border. That's you know, seven inches tall and put it in there. Um, let's do this heart one, even though the hearts are going to be upside down. <laughs> so, on this bottom, where I scored at three and a half inches, I'm going to punch on this side. And I'm going to go ahead and punch it from this way down, just so it looks neat. And there's that little center line, and I'll just start in the center. And with these Martha Stewart punches, you have to move it over, line it up, give it a punch. And I always start in the center because if you start on one edge and do it nice and perfect, by the time you get to the other edge, it's going to be off. So, like, you might as well just start in the center and let two sides be off. Then have one perfect side and then one side that's off. I don't know how to explain that, but that's generally what they say. Uh, I guess we don't have to sit here and watch me punch, but I'm almost done. <laughs> So I'm just showing you right now today how to make the folder. We have to follow up with everything that's going to go in them. And you're going to make four of these, okay? So the ephemera folder swap is really fun because, again, it's paper. Like, that's what we're focusing on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fold this over. Usually I use my scoring board just to make sure it's nice and centered. 
sometimes I make the cut first and then I score it so whatever you want to do see how it wants to move and it's now not quite perfect there okay we have that one we have this one that's what's gonna make our little pocket to hold our goodies now I cut this down like to 10 if you want to keep all five inches tall you know after the 12 inch piece of paper go for it um, it just might not let you put in what you need that well so now what I'm gonna do is I always cut this one <laughs> I was trying to remember I haven't done one of these in a while I'm gonna cut down uh, well, should I do this one or the other one? Ah, eh, that's okay. I'm just trying to think because of the punching. So I'm going to cut right down there, right to where it's folded, and then a little divot because it just looks nicer when you go to fold it over and glue this down. Same thing on this side, right up in here. And I know I told you guys, oh, I need to start chilling because I have to do... I'm really wrapped up in my taxes right now and <laughs> stuff like that. And of course, I make this so you have to send it in like a couple days before taxes are due, huh? but hopefully you're not having such a hectic time with it. Okay, and there, and here, and right up here. So on this one, you can cut right down the center and then you have a pocket that's loose. But what I normally do is I'll hold it like this. And if I didn't punch it, what I normally do is I come right here from this score line and I cut upwards and I cut it in a nice shape or a fun shape or, you know, but right now I'm just going to go from here and probably cut it right to that, where that heart scallops, because uh, that's a good place to go, I think. <laughs> so I'm just going right there. Oh, look at this little thing. <laughs> and so now I have this little pocket. Again, they are upside down hearts, but they're there. Okay, and then here, I think what I'm going to do is glue it. So I'm going to cut this right here. I usually do that just so it's nice and neat and what I'm cutting it right now since I, I'm just making a, a choice a style choice is cutting it here so that it looks nicest under that little cut where I cut that we're almost done guys and that's one folder down and then we'll do the other ones I like to corner around you don't have to corner around I just like the soft look of that but for here all we're gonna do is put glue on this outer part because we want to glue this guy down and under this flap we're putting glue underneath because we want to glue that down flat oh, ugh. I'm telling you that little bit of glue right there will just leave a mark it's really kind of annoying <laughs> all right yeah so hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos I've been keep it up even though I had the kids here I mean I had some pre-recorded but then others I just kind of had to work on um, like the crafters companion set I really wanted to play with that because of course I just I wanted to get to it right and um, so now today I'm finally getting people commenting most of the time people were like yeah I don't know why she didn't just say what it was you know this and this or some people talking about whatever they thought about the uh, crafters companion saying that their stamps are photopolymer and all that and sometimes they do have photopolymer stamps and that's great but sometimes most often than I would say more often than not they're not they're acrylic and just different brands do different stuff and that's fine but just say that right and now today finally I'm getting comments from people who are like she did say they were acrylic it's like okay <laughs> which is fine and that's how I read it only because it's like I never said that she'd never said it and I even said in my videos that she went on Facebook and I guess um, said that they're really thick acrylic but a lot of people are like no she needs to come out and say clearly what they are and apologize for that you know kind of thing but I don't think they'll ever do that they're just gonna move on I that's what I think um, I've heard some some people who canceled the order some people who are gonna keep it but they feel uncomfortable with it because like they were just kind of feeding into the whole what she said and we're just like okay we'll buy it anyway you know so I don't know um, other people said that when they contacted HSN to return it HSN will play pay for the return fee because you know you thought you were getting one thing and it's another so whatever it is however you want to play with it I am keeping it my compendium or whatever it's not called a compendium what you call it just I guess sentiment bundle but yeah it's too bad you know all right 
Um, okay, so that is one folder down, but again, I like to corner around mine. If you don't have a corner around or you don't have to do that, that's just how I like to do mine. So this video, again, real quick, is just to get it started, let you guys know. Um, what am I looking at? Both of these are not what I'm looking for. Here we go. And I like the half inch corner around, the little chunky one. So I will do that. And there it is. And now my folder is ready to be stuffed with five sentiments, five frames. And of course they have to fit in here. Don't let them be sticking out because on the very top of this, we're also going to do an altered paper clip. So um, whatever you want to put on something like that, like, okay, this one, obviously <laughs> somebody, somebody sent me anything, Tammy. Uh, let's pretend this was a cute little thing I created and the paper clip is on here. And so now it clips onto there or whatever, right? Um, it could be a hidden altered paper clip, or, but it has to be an altered paper clip. And the paper clip has to be altered with at least three or more items, okay? So that's another thing I will say. You don't, I prefer, honestly, if you don't decorate this because that adds to the thickness of it. So don't like stick some big flowers or something pretty on it. Uh, just leave it plain, okay? Plain folder, pretty paper, you know, that's where you play it up. Here's something else you can play with if you like. And then your five sentiments, five frames, five other items and only that amount and cannot be thicker than a quarter inch and the ultra paper clip or hidden ultra paper clip has to have at least three items on it that doesn't include the paper that is already just the clip do you know what i'm saying so um you know a little something here a little something there like i'm just grabbing things like let's say you had your alt your paper clip the shape and then you add like this little flower a little sprig and then maybe a little sentiment or a little stamping or something it doesn't have to be three elements okay <laughs> i hope that makes sense uh, it doesn't have to be like tangible things like i said if you stamped on it that's a thing right but um three design elements on the paper clip okay and um all right guys well let me know and if you're interested i have my uh email in the description box again sign up by april 5th but if it fills up i will let you know that it is filled up okay so um do not send anything in unless you're signed up because that happens sometimes to people because my PO box is down there and they just send things in and I'm like, what is this? So unless you hear back from me, you are not signed up, okay? And do not send anything in unless you are signed up. All right, guys, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of prettiness. I know it. So thanks for watching, guys. I will, uh, if you have any questions, um, please ask them in the email there and I'll try and respond as soon as I can. As far as, you know, if it's a lengthy thing, like I said, we're going to the zoo in just a little bit here. And so I don't know when this video will actually post, but hopefully I'll have time in the evening to sit down and do all that. So thanks for watching, guys. Have fun with it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, you know, I, I have a lot of, right. yeah, it's, for me, it's just I'm going to put some little bit larger sentiments. The sentiments really are meant towards cards. So, you know, if you have this big, huge one, I suppose that's fine for like a slim line or something. But, you know, sentiments, how you would use on a, on a greeting card. And, um... Again, it has to fit within here, so this is 5 by 7 so it's got to be a little smaller than 5 by 7 whatever you do include in here. And yeah, it'll be a Sorry, lot of fun. Before right, I forget, guys. it'll be in the guidelines, but I um, just want to say it here because that way people can refer back to this. The postage needs to be included with the, um, the swap. And, you know, this last swap, the case swap and the... Um, the floral potpourri swap no one forgot to put the postage in so it was awesome it was great it ran so smooth which is wonderful so no paypaling um i hadn't mentioned that before so i feel like if you're not familiar you're back to like oh the ephemera swap i'm gonna no no paypal and i believe the flat rate box is 9.45 but i don't recall right off the top of my head i think it is because i always use that one or the flat rate padded envelope and they're 9.45 and 9.65 but i forget which one's which but um that'll be in the guidelines so include that postage with your swap okay but again i'm gonna follow up with another video and I'll just mention those things right at the top again and um, yeah all right guys have a great day thanks for watching bye now